Welcome to What I Watch After Dark. My name's Nathan, or, or Midnight Joker, and today we're going to be talking about Punisher War Zone. Um, we'll get it real quickly. I love Ray Stevens in Rome, and he was the lead in this movie, uh, has the Punisher. I believe he was the best out of them all. I didn't like Thomas Jane. I just didn't feel like he had the greediness that uh, Ray Stevens did. But anyway, it's about the Punisher coming, take down Jigsaw from trying to run the the crime syndicate. So, well, we'll get a good idea here in a moment. Let me let's go ahead and roll the the trailer. This isn't like any procedure that we've ever done before. Well, that's why I'm here, Doc. Your facial muscles, tendons, bone structure, everything. It was destroyed. Evil has many faces. You look fantastic, brother. Yes. Darkness has many allies. This deal is going down tonight. Raise your army. But there is only one who punishes them all. This is just the beginning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's play a game. Gotta be with you, Frank. Sometimes I'd like to get my hands on God. FBI, drop your weapon! You're fighting a war. Welcome back. It looks fun, doesn't it? Well, just real quick to get you the stats on an action movie. There's an 81 uh, body count by Ray Stevens on that one. Actually, Thomas Shane was supposed to come back, but then he dropped out. I think they made a better movie. The first 25 minutes of the movie, the Punisher doesn't say a word. There might be other people that are saying lines, but he does not talk. Uh, I also thought Dominique West did a fantastic job as uh, Billy slash Jigsaw. Uh, Julia Benz has Angela. And then we had Doug... Hutchinson, now we know him from the Green Mile. He's Looney, he's Looney Ben Jim. And then, of course, Wayne Knight played Micro. And, uh, you know, that's basically the main cast. Again, I love this movie. It was exciting from the beginning. It was... It didn't waste time on a backstory. I mean, yeah, it had a little backstory, a little flashback of what happened to him. But it was so quick. It was like, okay, you know, I'm up to speed. It really is well directed by Alexi Alexander. Um, she went in, uh, at the time there had been a lot, and there still is, unfortunately, there's been a lot of school shootings, and so when she saw it, she wanted to make sure that she made something that nobody could imitate. Um, and she saw that on the day she was supposed to meet with Marvel, so. The cinematography is really good. Uh, they keep a color palette of three colors at one time on the screen. Action is Phenomenal. This is so, I guess if I was going to rate this film, I'm going to go ahead and give it... Uh, I'm going to give this movie an 8. And say, if you like action, if you like gore and action and guns... I think there was something like... I don't know, 120 guns used 
in the movie. Anyway, I suggest go see it. What's really great is we're up to 68 subscribers. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, subscribing really helps me. I do want you to know I love you. Each and every one of you. And thank you for watching. Just remember to get you some. Get your zone!